Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and I am an ordinary plant girl. Um, today I have an unboxing for you. Um, it might be one of the... It might be one of the few coming as I tend to... I, I buy less when it comes to getting into fall and winter. Um, and then I end up spending more time focusing on the plants that I have. I don't have grow lights or anything like that, so when the darker seasons come, if my plants go to sleep, they go to sleep. If not, if they keep growing, then I keep taking care of them. Fungus nap. Um, as if they were, you know, as if it was spring or summer. Uh, some of my plants tend to do that, so that's what I will do. With the end of summer coming, I will be spending more time getting my plants ready for winter um, and the darker seasons. Even though it hasn't really even hit fall yet, it is in my head that I need to get any transplanting done that needs to be done within these last few weeks of summer and uh, get the last fertilization done and, and all of that, um, which I will go through and show you. But today, like I said, we are doing an unboxing. And I'm so happy about this. I actually didn't intend to buy um, buy any plants. I think this is really, this is the only one that I ordered online. Uh, I should actually do a haul video, but I've never done one. So, I mean, it kind of just comes and goes. But I did order this one because I saw it. And if you ever have that feeling when you see a plant and you just have to have it, you have to. You'll put away money for it if you have to. Um, I usually have a monthly budget that I, you know, will play with buying plants with. Uh, and I did buy a couple in store, but this is the only one that I ordered online. And once I open it, you will see why I had to order this plant. I hope. Let's make sure it's in good condition. You know the thing about FedEx boxes? Why do they make them so hard to open? Why don't they have one of those tab things that you can pull off and open the box? Oh, I did not say that. This plant is again from Rio. And as much as I have issues with soil. For some reason I just can't stop ordering from them. Oh, okay. Well, they take this one in the box. Oh, look at you. Okay. Um, seconds, I have to get the plastic off. Where's my trusty kniff? Alright, and as usual, it does come in a pot with moss. Ooh, she pretty. I didn't look at the camera properly. She pretty. I am, if you know anything about me at all, you know that this is a philodendron because they just have my whole heart. Uh, but when I saw this, I had to have her and I would like to introduce you and some soup plant soil to my philodendron majesty. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. And I do have to say that, I, like I said, despite the soaking wet moss, um, their plants really do come in fabulous condition. Uh, with the exception of my Gloriosum, which had a little bit of damage to the leaves, but she is hanging in there. Uh, she's stable and everything. As for my Inferium Pedatum, 
which I'm trying to rehab right now, has lost all her leaves and is essentially just a tiny little stump. We will talk about that another day. Today is about this beautiful girl. Like, look at, look at the backs of those leaves. I'm just, I have a thing for like the deep, rich, dark stems. Like, look at that. That is just, and, and she's perky. And uh, I just already in love with her. Already. This is the newest leaf here. It's still, it's not as rigid, but that deep, deep color, oh, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I'm so glad I got it. Um, I mean, as far as these guys go, what am I looking for? I am looking for a philodendron black knight and a philodendron royal queen and I think that at that point I might be <laughs> who are we kidding I'm not gonna be okay I'm just gonna keep looking for them because they're just they're beautiful like they're I just I can't I can't even say enough so with that being said guys and gals um my new baby. I'm gonna let her acclimate. Um, and even though philodendrons pretty much tend to have the same kind of care requirements, I have found lots of conflicting things, but I mean you never know, depending on your environment that you have in your home already. Um, the, the care of these plants could be drastically different. Uh, some people like to leave the soil a little bit, you know, moist. Um, some people like to let them dry out all the way. I have found that for me, letting them dry out all the way is definitely the way to go. I try not to wait until they've drooped too much. Um, philodendrons also, most of the ones that I have and have seen, when they're thirsty, their leaves start to curl which seems to just be a blanket across all of them, with the exception of my Florida ghost, that just never seems unhappy. Um, never seems unhappy. If you have the chance and you are in Canada, I will double check, I'm, I'm not sure if they ship internationally, but you should check out Rium. Um, in a lot of cases, their prices might be you know, up there, especially right now with the way prices are going with um, our, our tropical friends. But for the, for the most part, they are really easy to communicate with. Um, their, their plants are, you know, what you see is what you get. But I'm finding them to be one of my favorite places to order from, especially when it comes to plants that are not common for me. They are in Montreal. And they do ship by FedEx, so one to two days and your plant gets gets to you. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, it's sitting in the mail for 18 days um, in order to get to you. But I do. I love them. I love them. And more orders will definitely be coming their way from me. Um, I will probably do one more online order uh, in a couple weeks. That'll be my, yeah, because we'll be into fall by then. And that will probably be the end of my online ordering for the season. Look at her, isn't she pretty? She's so pretty, she's so pretty. Thanks for clicking on this video and if you are coming back thank you so much for being here with me to follow in this 
long show of a journey that I'm going on. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do answer all the comments that I receive. Um, I'm better now than I used to be, that being said. But yeah, if you have anything you want to ask, you have anything you want to see, just comment below. Please like and subscribe this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Look at her. Just look at her. Isn't she pretty?